Okay. We all have our own uh, ways of roasting coffee. This is the way that I do it. I like to use a wherever popcorn pumper. And here's how many beans I use. I find that I can get just about one full cup of beans per batch. But I use a one third scoop. You can see there's a line in there. I'm going to get close to that line. <laughs> I have two of these uh, pumpers. One of them has an on off switch. This one does not. So I put it on a power strip so I can control it better. Alright, I find that if I uh, put in too much it doesn't circulate properly and it doesn't evenly roast. If I put in too little it circulates too fast and it chips off uh, pieces of the bean <coughs> and uh, seems to take forever to roast. So. As you can see, we're just barely moving around. And I'll add a little bit more beans. So it just barely moves in the beginning. And it'll start moving a lot faster when uh, it dries up and some of the shape comes out. Now, this will overflow the popper if I did it just like this. So I took a can, this is actually a pineapple can, and I make a chimney for it. And then I use the original top I use the original top to divert the chaff the shape, into this can. This kind of cuts down on the mess a little bit. Now this has got a little door on it that I can flip down so I can look at my beans. And as you can see, they're moving nicely now. And the chaff is coming out. Sometimes if I want to help the chaff along, I take my little wooden spatula and I gently tap the side. It doesn't all go in the can as you can tell. But it's still neater than just letting it blow all over creation. Okay, I'm going to let this go until I hear a second crack start. And uh, that's the nice thing about this uh, wherever popper. I don't have to hang around and uh, too much so I'll check it periodically it's going to take between 10 and 11 minutes to do one uh, cup of green beans and uh, we'll come back in a minute okay it's very humid and hot today so this is taking less time than it normally does when it's cooler You can hear it's just starting the first crack. Sounds like popcorn popping a little bit. I'll check on my beans. I can do this one handed. It seems to be moving around nicely. Minute when it's getting to uh, 
just the very beginning of second crack is where I usually stop. That's how we like it mostly around here. Okay, we're about eight minutes into the process now. I get some nice smoke coming out of there. Yeah. It sounds like it's getting ready to transition between first crack and second crack. It's not as distinctive as it is with my uh, old popcorn popper. This uh, is a little bit gentler the way it seems to roast it. I'm going to turn it off and listen. Still sounds like first crack. I haven't heard the beginning of second crack yet, but got some nice smoke going. There's second crack, just starting now. Sounds a little bit like Rice Krispies crisping up there. So we're going to let that go for oh, just a little bit of time. And then I'm going to dump it out. Now you can hear it, it just transitioned into second crack. Perfect city roast. Full city roast. 